Chance, mm. uh, you just touched on it. Um, I mean, I would I would think sort of the story of the game would be the the way the ladies took care of the ball tonight. I totally agree, Adam. I I think that was the the biggest point of the game. Um, you know, we didn't just come down. You know, we weren't hitting shots obviously to start the ball game off, uh, and really didn't hit them very well throughout the whole ball game. Um, but we kept we we kept the ball, and and you know we. They blocked us out. I, you know, North Florida did a really good job blocking us out, keeping us off the glass. Um, but, you know, I, I thought I thought we kept on fighting for those rebounds, and I think in the second half we got them. How about the game of Jayla Butler, and did she grow up a lot tonight, you think? <laughs> I think she did, you know. I mean, I, you know, she – she didn't have the best start, but then when she went back in, she really turned it up defensively. And, uh, you know, she guarded, you know, their their uh, – their point guard, uh, probably the best of anybody out there, really, you know, forced her into her right hand, wouldn't let her go left. And uh, I, I was really pleased with her. And I thought, I thought really all three of our freshmen, you know, played really well tonight we, with uh, Mia and, and Gracie and JB. I thought they all really, you know, just, just played the way we see them play every day in practice, you know. And I think that, uh, you know, when you get to this part of the season – you know, it, they're almost like like sophomores now. You know, they've grown up a little bit. They know the speed of the game. They know the physicality of the game. Um, they know what we we're, what it's supposed to look like. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm real pleased with them. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm pleased with, like, Lydia coming out and off the bench and, and giving us great energy on defense. Uh, I thought Braley did the same thing. Uh, Matt came in and made two huge threes. Um, you know, if we can keep on getting that same production, you know, off our bench, it's going to bode well for us. 10 steals, eight blocks. Uh, the ladies really made a bunch of plays. North Florida hit seven of 13 shots in the first quarter, and uh, that was essentially the majority of the field goals they hit all game. Just yeah. How did the ladies really settle in defensively? You know, I, I thought that – I thought when we started pressing them, we sped them up a little bit, and, and they didn't – they were taking shots maybe they weren't – you know, used to or accustomed to taking. I thought in the first half we were a little bit too uh, backed up and, and waiting for them at half court, and they were kind of walking the ball up, and they got to move the ball, and and and, and really we weren't uh, on our toes a little bit. So I, we put the press on, and, and you know, I, I think that, you know, we sped them up. They threw the ball away a couple times. You know, we forced them into 22 turnovers. Um, so and, and we actually got 19 points off those turnovers, which – that's that's probably a record for ten, for this year. <laughs> so I mean, I, I don't think Gracie scored in the first quarter, but she ends up with twenty one. I mean, did the girls and maybe Gracie uh, do a good job of being patient and starting to work work it to her when they could, or should it should it have been better from the start? Well, you know, we we definitely want to go inside, but you know, she's going up against a fifth year kid and and who's real physical. Um, you know, really, you know, was knocking her off her mark and 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 uh, you know, you you probably she's 22, maybe 23 against 18 year old, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's just, it's going to take Gracie a little bit of time, you know, a little bit more coaching to be able to get lower. You know, I'd like to see her lower in her stance uh, and to be able to spin off that, uh, you know, and be able to pull the chair, you know, when, when somebody's on, uh, on you like that, backing you down. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think that, I think that, it, like you said, I don't think we were as patient as we should have been looking for her getting into her. Even when we drive in there, just leave it up there for, you know, they came over, you know, she can catch it, you know, or, or bank it off the backboard to her, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, North Florida out-rebounded you guys tonight, yeah. but it, it didn't necessarily feel like it. Uh, Jayla had nine, uh, Shaniqua, especially since Cam had gone down, yeah. I mean, she nearly had a double-double. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, just how, how about the team rebounding? Because it's been fantastic. Yeah, all year. it really has. And I and I got on them in the first half pretty hard. You know, I said, you know, no one's going to the boards. Nobody is. I said, they're double-teaming Gracie, blocking her out. So she can't get a board. And I think maybe she had four boards in, in the first quarter, but nobody else had a board, you know. So we 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 – focused in on it, you know, and it's it's so hard to block somebody out when you're coming on the edge. So I tell the guards, I said, if y'all can get in there, I said, that's just going to help because if we don't get it, the, we, the big girls, if we don't get it on the the initial, then it's going to tip up and be right there at the free throw line. So um, I thought Mia did a good job too. I thought JB did a good job keeping the balls alive and, and, and going to get it. So now I think you guys got down by 16. How about mm -hmm. the, just the resiliency? True. They didn't the girls didn't seem to get shaken up. You know, I, and I talked to them in the, in the, at, 
after the game about that. <clears throat> you know, they've they really understand that it's a 40 minute game and they have to keep playing hard the whole entire game. Um, you know, even we were down so much at North Al, you know, we came out at halftime and and we played hard. Um, this team doesn't get down and feel sorry for itself and and you know, just they they keep playing. They keep trying to do what we're telling them to do. They're very coachable. Um, they they want to do what we want them to do and and uh you know, sometimes it it, it doesn't look as pretty as it should, uh, but they keep on working and you know, good things happen to them. You know, we we win by six tonight yeah I mean are, are they seeing the fruits of the labor that's two wins in a row it very easily could have been three yeah yeah it could have been yeah. <laughs> it could have been <laughs> uh maybe could have been four even uh but you know I, I think that you know you have to you a team has to go through that to to really feel good that locker room is really happy right now you know um it, it, you know I think so when you go through as as much adversity as we've been through this year and we've stuck together they're real close on and off the court and uh you know I told I told Jim this you know on on the radio um that you know I've been coaching for a lot of years and you know won championships and know what a championship locker room feels like that locker room feels like a championship locker room I don't know if it's going to happen this year but it's going to happen to this this team um you know and and I feel I feel real good about where we are going and what this program is headed for um you know our our freshmen are doing it our sophomores are doing it you know our juniors and seniors are they're all you know going we got one kid that's that's, that's graduating and that's Shaq's his fifth year and everybody else will be back and we got a ton sitting out right yep, now right. too so Anything else? <laughs> All right, that's it. I'd love to see you guys out here on Saturday.